in seventh heaven. Why are you so serious? I can't believe it! Oh my gosh! What? You know what? I won! I won the highest prize! What? What did you win? The lottery! I won five thousand dollars! Oh my gosh! That's unbelievable! I am in seventh heaven. Life is perfect. Congrats! Thanks. It is the first time I win the lottery. You are so lucky. Do you often buy the lottery? Not really. I often buy it twice a week. How much is a lottery ticket? Only fifty cents. And you won five thousand? That's insane. Even now, I cannot believe it. You can buy medicines at the hospital drugstore. Here's your prescription. You can buy medicines at the hospital drugstore. Thanks so much. How many days should I take medicine? At least seven days. All instructions are written on it. Oh, thanks. Is there anything you can suggest to avoid a relapse? First of all, you should avoid alcohol. Yes, I know. I am trying to cut it off. You must do that. If not, it will be more serious next time. I understand. I will try. And try to go to bed early. Staying up late is one of the main reasons. I don't know about that. I will go to bed early from now on. Eat healthy foods and no spicy. I got it. Anything else? That's all. I hope I will never see you here anymore. Me neither. You want to transfer fifteen hundred dollars in cash, right? Excuse me. How can I help you today? I'd like to transfer some money to this account. Do you want to transfer cash or money from your account? Cash, please. I see. Can you please fill in this form? Sure. Please make sure that all the details are accurate to the last detail. Okay. I will double check after finishing. Thanks. Hand that over to me when you are done. Sure. I'm done. Okay. Let me have a look at it. You want to transfer fifteen hundred dollars in cash, right? That's right. The recipient is Anna Williams, right? Yeah. Please give me the cash and look at the money counter. Here it is. I received fifteen hundred dollars. You are done. Thanks. Try somebody's best. Hey, Kyle just started a new job at PG Entertainment. Did you know that? No. When? Last week. Oh my gosh! Unbelievable. Yeah. When I heard about his new job, I was green with envy. So surprised. That is one of the biggest companies in this state. Yeah, he is so lucky. He must try his best to have that position. Yes, he does not have a lot of experience. However, we cannot deny that he has the ability in that field. He is one of the most talented students in our major. I wish I had also applied for that position this time. It is too late now. Keep yourself safe. Hey, darling, be careful. When can we get on the train? The train is coming. When the light turns green, we can enter it. Okay, I see. Can I get a few steps closer? I don't want to miss the train. No, wait behind the yellow. Why? Standing close to a railway is dangerous. Why? 
When the train comes, it can hurt you. It runs so fast. Ah, I got it. I will stay here and wait for the train. Good boy. We don't need to rush. Always keep yourself safe. Okay. I want to have my hair cut. Excuse me, what can I do for you today? I want to have my hair cut. Okay, have you chosen any style yet? Actually, I just want to have it cut short. No change in style? Yeah, I still like this style. It fits my face. Sure. Could you trim my beard, please? Absolutely, yes. How many centimeters do you want to cut off? Two or three centimeters. Okay. It is done. How do you feel? Well... Do you like it? Yeah, I like the hair, but my beard... You don't like it? I can fix it for you. It is still quite long. Can you make it shorter? Sure. A bad day. Do you know who I met today? Who? David. Oh my gosh. David, you mean your ex? Yeah, he is. Where did you meet him? At the supermarket on the next street. Why was he there? He doesn't live here. I don't know. That's what surprised me. Did he recognize you? I couldn't even look at him. I knew it was going to be a bad day when my car wouldn't start. Your car's broken? Yeah, I had to call a taxi this morning and was late for work. <sighs> Calm down. I'm trying. Sometimes we don't have a perfect day, but everything will be okay. Tomorrow will be better. I'm sending you my condolences. I'm sending you my condolences. Thanks. Your dad was such a great man. Yeah, you know, he had been sick for a long time. So we had some preparation for that. How is your mom? It is the most difficult time for her. She cries every <laughs> night. I'm so sorry. I think it will take time for her to get over this. You should keep an eye on her. Now she needs her daughter by her side. Yeah, every day we talk to each other. I wish there was something I could do for you. Being by my side at that time means a lot to me. Thanks a lot. What price range are you thinking of? What kind of accommodation are you looking for? I'm looking for an apartment. What price range are you thinking of? Around $700 a month is good. How many bedrooms do you want? Two bedrooms are fine. I have an apartment that meets your requirements. Can I have some more details, please? There are two bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room, and a bathroom. Great! How much is it? $649 a month. There's a deposit of one month's rent. That's all good. I'll take it. When do you want to move in? Next week is okay? Sure. It's pelting down. Do you want to go to the cafeteria? That's a great idea. This restaurant is quite noisy. What did you say? I said it was so noisy here. We cannot talk to each other. Yeah, I know a coffee shop on the next street. Cool, let's go. Hey, it's pelting down. Yeah, it's very difficult to call a taxi now. 
It's possible that we won't walk there. We may get wet. We'd better go back to our seats. That sucks. Look at that. What? We can go to the coffee shop at the top of this building. Yeah, something is better than nothing. Let's go. Family. Why do you look so tired today? I don't want to go home at all. I just had a conflict with my parents. What's going on? My parents are very conservative. They always complain about how I dress, don't let me go out with friends at night, and even force me to take extra courses. So, do you normally spend time with your family? I see you go out all the time. No, every time I go home, there is an argument. I prefer to chat with my friends. I think everything your parents do is to want the best for you. After all, family is always the safest place. But... Maybe because they haven't understood your wishes yet. They can't properly care. You should talk to your parents, take care of your family. Everything will get better. Thank you. I'll try. A teacher. Who are you preparing gifts for? For my piano teacher. Today is her birthday. You seem to really like your teacher. You've told me about her a few times. Of course. She is not only a dedicated teacher, but also a friend who is always ready to listen and give me useful advice. Wow. She seems to be someone you can rely on. Yes, thanks to her, I have improved a lot. I have a music talent show coming up soon. And I'll try to practice so that I don't disappoint her. I think that is the most meaningful gift for her. Hope you will achieve your goals and get high marks on the exam. Books We need to find a good book to introduce to the class next week. Any ideas? I think we should choose the story of a seagull and the cat who taught her to fly. What is it about? Caught up in an oil spill, a dying seagull scrambles ashore to lay her final egg and lands on a balcony where she meets a big black cat. Ah, I seem to have heard about that. The cat promises the seagull to look after the egg and teach the baby gull to fly. Yes, it's a meaningful story that teaches us it's important to help those less fortunate than ourselves. The story also condemns human wrongdoing that has a negative impact on nature and species. I know. Accidentally destroying their clean living environment just for the sake of short-term profit. Animals. Last summer, I got a chance to visit the zoo with my family in order to see different species of animals. Great! That place must be interesting, right? The view is so beautiful that we took many photos there. I also want to go to the zoo with my family. Everyone in my family loves animals. My sister and I took pictures with tigers, lions, leopards, and also hippos. Among all the animals that I saw, hippos were the ones that gave me the most impression. Really? How were they? They were much bigger than I had expected. At the same time, they are incredibly cute as I caught them shaking their bodies in a lovely way after getting out of the water. Sounds interesting. I think I will ask my parents to go there on the weekend. Travel
Lisa, where are you going with all those clothes you're packing? This weekend, my family will go to Hawaii for traveling. Every summer, we go on vacation for about a week. My dad is usually busy with work, but this time he arranged his time to take the family on a trip. How's Hawaii? It's a beautiful island with a blue sea, golden sands, and famous seafood dishes, isn't it? Yes, I've wanted to go there for a long time. Hawaii is like a paradise island. Sounds good. This helps family members spend time together, strengthens relationships, and reduces the risk of further conflict. I'm really looking forward to this trip. Website Congratulations on winning the first prize in the recent presentation contest. Thanks. That's an encouraging compliment. I admire you so much. I also want to be such a knowledgeable and good speaker. If that's what you want, you can visit TED.com's site. It's a nonprofit website with many videos on many fields presented by many famous experts. Sounds good. Does the site have levels? Yes. You can customize the complexity and expertise of the videos. It will help you to expand your knowledge and learn how to present from them. Historical Place Have you figured out the historic site for us to visit this weekend? Um, look at this. South Dakota's granite Mount Rushmore is one of the country's strangest and most visited monuments. Ah, I know. That's the mountain that boasts the carved faces of four American presidents. Every year, about three million visitors visit the mountain, where they can trek the presidential trail for a close-up look at the massive faces. I still wonder how they can sculpt such beautiful faces right on the cliff. Apparently, it was completed in 1941, when the project was completed by sculptor Gutzon Borglum and his son Lincoln. Looks like it's going to be an interesting destination for our extracurricular activities, doesn't it? Accident Why are you absent from school today? I'm sorry. This morning on the way to school, I had an accident. Got injured, so I couldn't go to school. My mom called my teacher to give me a break. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Have you been discharged from the hospital for me to visit? I broke my arm, but I'm fine now. Needing treatment and rest for a while. Why did you have an accident? I was late for school this morning, so I had to drive quickly to get there on time. Because I was in such a rush, I inadvertently caused an accident, which fortunately was not too bad. Oh, that's dangerous. Next time, don't be so careless. Childhood Memory Lucy, look at this photo. This is when we were kids. Oh, yes. Then we were still living in the countryside. Freely playing and creating our own toys. It was fun then. At least we didn't have to do as much homework as we do now. Do you remember this picture? That time your father made a beautiful boat out of paper with wooden sticks. We fought over it and accidentally broke it. Remember, those are all unforgettable childhood memories. Now that we have gone to the city, we can no longer play in the fields like before. Suddenly, I feel nostalgic. If so, how about we go back to our hometown this weekend? Good idea. Newspaper. Magazine.
Do you prefer reading newspapers or magazines? I often read newspapers. It provides a lot of information about the issues that are happening around the world. And it helps me update the current trend better. I don't think it's very common to use newspapers nowadays. Yes, because people often read online newspapers. It is much more convenient. What about you? What do you prefer to read? I like magazines. I love drawing and the fashion industry. So fashion and movie magazines are the most suitable. I know. The magazine attracts readers with its beautiful design and current attractive content. Yes, but each has its own effect and is essential. Favorite rooms How many rooms are there in your house, Peter? My house has two floors. The first floor has five rooms. The second floor has four rooms. So there are nine rooms in my house. His house has a garden on the balcony. Very beautiful, Linda. Great. Do you water them every day? Of course. Along with a few potted plants in my room, they grow really fast. You have plants in your room? Do you like trees? And I guess your favorite room is also your own room? That's right. That's because only my room has plants. My brother's room is also very interesting. His room is full of skateboards and model trains. Can we come to visit your house someday? Yes, of course. Welcome to the miniature primeval forest. Topic. Presents. Merry Christmas. Tony, what are you doing? Happy Christmas, Beck. I'm preparing gifts for the children. There is no gift for me? I'm so sad. Stop joking around, Beck. You are an adult man. As an adult man, can I not receive a gift? That's right. You should give and never ask for a return. I have prepared a gift for you, Beck, and Tony too. So stop that bland conversation. Come to help me pack the Christmas gifts. Wrapping this with beautiful flower paper. I will tie the bow. I have a very skillful hand. Something is going to happen. Oh, I just stepped on something. It's a glue bottle. I knew for sure you would get into trouble soon. <laughs> Topic, a museum. This is the first time I have been to a museum. Wow, it's so vast. Teacher said there are many dinosaur bones here. My younger brother likes dinosaurs very much. But unfortunately, today he couldn't come with me. I wish I could bring him a dinosaur. You cannot bring the dinosaurs to your younger brother, Nancy. The dinosaur skeletons were here to display for everyone to study and explore. Oh, he will be very sad. Look, they are selling stuffed dinosaurs. Your younger brother is only two years old. A stuffed animal will be more suitable for him. What about your sister, Lena, Jimmy? Lena loves pink. I will buy her a pink dinosaur. Let's go there. I think I have found a gift for my brother. A favorite movie. Linda, how's it going? Hey, yeah, I'm pretty good. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to the movies at the theater. Would you like to come with me? Yes, I'd love to. Do you usually watch movies at home or at a movie theater? Actually, I often watch it on my laptop. Sometimes I go to the movie theater with some friends. What's your favorite movie? I'm really interested in superhero movies. It sounds interesting. So what movie are you going to watch right now? 
The Avenger Endgame. This is the latest installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Sweet. So what's the movie all about? The main plotline of the Avengers. Endgame is the fight between Thanos, a powerful alien, and the Earth Protectors, the Avengers. That sounds great. I'm on the edge of my seat. Hobbies Do you like watching movies? Yes, I am quite into watching movies. Is it a way to release stress for you? Yes, it's the best way to escape from my boring daily routine. Also, from several movies, I can learn many valuable life lessons. How often do you watch movies? Honestly, I have little free time each day to watch. As my working schedule is hectic and especially in late months, I am up to my neck at work. What kind of movies do you like watching? I like fantasy films the most. And you? What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? My hobby is reading. I found it interesting when I was a child. Oh, what books have you read recently? The book I'm reading at the moment is The Godfather by renowned author Mario Puzo. It's a classic, really, and I'd recommend it. Shopping Hey, Maria, what are you doing? Well, it's getting cold, so I would like to buy a new coat. Do you shop online? Currently, I do all my shopping at the Mart. But in the future, I would like to buy things through e-commerce. Yeah, there is no doubt about it. There is no need to tackle crowds or traffic jams. However, I have a taste for wandering around shopping malls and doing some window shopping. Whenever I walk into a grocery store, it's the instant feeling of freshness that always excites me. I can't agree with you more. What do you think about wandering around shopping malls or shopping for groceries this afternoon? That's a great idea. What's your favorite shop? I prefer shopping at the Mart as they have everything available and at a reasonable price. That's right. These stores provide a wide range of products from groceries to lifestyle. A favorite subject. Anna, nice to meet you. I'm glad to meet you too. You are Linda. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is this book Sherlock Holmes? Yes, I admire him. He's considered a talented detective with the ability to think logically, explore cases in an accurate and reasonable way. Don't you think? There is no doubt about it. It seems we are cut from the same cloth. What is your favorite subject at school? I'm excited about literature. Me too! Why do you like this subject? I think literature is the mirror reflecting humans and their lifestyle. A foreign country. Mira, what foreign countries would you like to go to in the future? Um, I've been dreaming of visiting Canada for more than five years. Why do you want to know more about it? Actually, some of my friends have been studying there, and they told me a lot about life and culture in Canada. Um, we can see diversity in their cultures. Yeah, from my friend, I developed a desire to migrate to that country and undertake my higher study from there. That sounds great. What's the difference between working in an international company and working in a domestic one? I guess those who work in an international environment have to collaborate with people coming from different cultures. It may be a chance for them to learn new things from each other. Restaurant
Good evening, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to book a table for one, please. Yes, sir. Follow me, please. Are you ready to order now? Yes, I'd like to order the chicken with vegetables. And the vegetable pasta, please. What do you recommend? The potato and chip are quite popular in our restaurant. All right, I'd love to have a try. Yes, sir. Would you like some drink with that? No, thank you. Yes, sir. Hold on a minute. Here you are. Uh, excuse me, but this isn't what I ordered. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll change it for you straight away. That's okay. A memorable event. Thank you for inviting me. It will be a wonderful and memorable event. Orange juice is coming. Do you want to try it? Yes, thank you very much. Jenny, what time is it now? When will we celebrate the wedding of Bobby and Ken? Right now, Barbie and Ken are ready. Yay! <laughs> Barbie is so beautiful with blonde hair. Enjoy your orange juice, and Ben will bring out some cake. I'm coming. Wow, look at what we have. Looks so delicious. It's all done. From now on, Bobby and Ken will be the bride and groom. Clap your hands to congratulate. 